Guess we're on our last stack of rockets. So, uh, let's go buy some. Hello, welcome everybody, and thank you for watching another episode of the Survival Let's Play. Um, yeah, we're here at the rocket store. I don't remember if I even showed this on camera, so I'll just show it off really quick, but it's like a little gas pump, uh airplane hanger. I'm actually not quite sure exactly what this one is, but it's in relation to this other build right here, which is a wing store. It's got an airplane in it. So, but I love these builds. They they give a really cool like I don't know, ancient, not ancient, like old abandoned World War II style something in a big cave. I don't really know, but it's cool. But anyways, let's buy some rockets here. We got one diamond for two stacks. Can do. We'll buy two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that'll be good for now. Eight stacks. One, two, three, four diamonds. All right. Looks like it's another rainy day at uh, Elder Tree Basin, my base here. Um. While we are at my base, um, I don't know if I want to spend the whole episode here, but I definitely want to start on the barn from uh, that I planned out from last episode. So I'm going to go gather some resources and just straight off the bat, uh, let's see if we can get some building done. Okay, so as far as block palette goes for this barn, um, I don't, this is not set in stone, but I was thinking mud bricks for the most of the build, the base of it, and then the roof maybe warped wood, um, tentatively at least. Uh, but you're looking at the only mud bricks that I have currently to my name, six slabs. So I'm going to need to do some serious uh, harvesting of my wheat field so I can make some more packed mud. And warped wood, we've got a little bit, maybe enough for a whole roof, but we'll see. Um, so hopefully it will go well. Uh, another disclaimer, I have never built a barn. I don't know what really it will look like, especially with weird colors like this. So it might not end up looking like a barn, like you might be envisioning. But I will try my best. My only game plan really is to make some sort of big open door so that they could, you know, theoretically walk in and out and I kind of have an idea of the roof shape of a barn and that's pretty much all I'm going off of so uh, as far as the inside maybe we'll make some stables or something like that but I'm gonna do some resource collecting and then we'll get started on the build and I will check back in with a progress update seeds in the uh, composter machine. I hardly ever get to use this machine in a... Oh, I was just temporarily putting this here. Yeah, it, it uh, as you can see, it does not produce uh, that much bone meal, but uh, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, we uh, cut down the farm. We only did half of it, if that. Um, this thing is deceptively huge. Every time I cut it down, I realize it's it's a project to farm this. And I haven't made any sort of automatic wheat farm, so I'm stuck with this for now. But, uh, yeah, it takes a while. Luckily, I have an LA that I, I just remembered I need to lead back up. But the LA does help. I'm a, I'm a convert to the power of LAs, even though they always run away from me and get stuck in my nether tunnel or, you know, whatever. But... Um, so yeah, hopefully this will be enough wheat, at least for what I need for this current build. If I was smart, I would cut down the whole wheat farm and just have more for later, but I'm only thinking in the short term right now, and I have one building to make, so I'm gonna go, yeah, collect the packed mud, make sure I have, um, warped wood, and then we'll get started on the build. Okay, it's the next day, and, uh, I don't know, does this look something slightly reminiscent of a barn. 
Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the previous clip, but I, I've never really built a barn and don't really know what they should look like. But I've just got a big open door here, some circle window, uh, which by the way, if you're wondering why this looks oddly circular for Minecraft, uh, there's a trick if you don't know where you use trap doors and stairs to make the curve of a circle uh, curvy. <laughs> and uh, so that's that. Um, it's not close to being done yet. If, if I go inside, you can tell uh, even the exterior is non-existent. It's just the front half, front face of it right now. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of slowly chipping away at what I think this barn might be. I'm going to work on extending the roof right now, but we are basically almost out of um, mud bricks already. I thought we would have had more with the amount that we farmed, but we are actually out of mud now. So uh, I'm going to have to do some more resource collecting later before I finish this, but I at least want to get the roof in a little more and see how it will start shaping up like that. And then we might move on to another project for the rest of today. Okay, so we are just shy of um, the right amount of wood to finish the roof, but we pretty much got it, I mean, done. There is an awkward space in here you can see in the back where I didn't have enough, and uh, I'll definitely carve away the inside of this to give us more room on the inside when I uh, start doing the interiors. But um, yeah, that means we are basically all out of mud bricks and um what is this called warped wood so to continue on this project we're definitely going to need to do some resource gathering but um at least i'm happy we got the outer shell mostly done so let's get one uh, another look at it here by the way these i don't know what this is supposed to be just like like it's old and weathered or dirty something like this and then I tried adding some sort of support beams just because that seemed like something that might be on a barn. I don't really know. Um, another thing, I don't remember if I said this, I want to add a big door. Either two big doors that are like opened from the sides here or one big sliding door that's just kind of like offset to the side. Not quite sure yet, but I will um, definitely do that next time we uh, work on this project. But um, let's head on over to somewhere else and see what else we want to work on today. Okay, we're back in the nether, and maybe you can guess um, where we're going after I uh, mine this blackstone. But, uh, yep, so we are here in the end again um, at the end ruins. I just went uh, mining for some blackstone and... One of my friends on is one of my friends is on the world, Samwise. So uh, he helped me with a little bit of grinding this blackstone, and I mined another whole shulker box. So that should be enough to keep us going for a little bit longer. I don't necessarily have plans entirely of what I want to work on, but um, let me do some brainstorming so we can start building something else out here, and uh, I'll be right back. Well, 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 what do we have here? So, this is going to be quite the project, but here is an outline for a outer wall of a castle. Um, there's a few directions I could take this, um, but what I do know is right when you come across this bridge, there's going to be some sort of big opening gate here into the castle, and perhaps a couple pathways going around either side, um, but... This island turned out to be the perfect shape to fit this wall. Um, but the two directions we could go is this could simply be an outer wall that um, has other castle buildings inside. Or it could be a raised platform and have this be kind of like a tiered segmented area, if that makes sense. Uh, where you'd have like this raise up, be a platform, and then another built building on top of there maybe even another raised segment on top of that and gradually go up to the center castle 
Um, like I said in a previous episode, I've never made a real castle, as far as I remember, in Minecraft. So I'm kind of experimenting as I go. Um, also, I just thought this would be interesting. I don't know how realistic or cool this will end up being, but I thought putting the wall underneath one of these archways and then having this eventually connect to some building in there, but go over the wall was kind of a neat, uh, just interesting architecture choice. So um, let me just build up this wall a little bit, I guess, and then see where I want to go. I am running out of time for the rest of this episode, so we'll see how far I get, but um, I'm really excited now for these future plans. Okay, so here's the wall. I built it up a little bit in a circle. Um, this is really starting to give a vision of how this place will look. Um, I think I've decided that I want to end up making a platform, like a flat platform at the level of this wall, and then make a couple tiered layers because I think that will allow me to make more of a grand looking castle with more height um, more easily. And I just think that added dimension will make give some uniqueness and uh, I think it'll look awesome. And also, I don't really, I could not think of how, whoa, uh, that was loud. I think the Enderman just touched that portal. Let me fly away from here. Uh, but I think the, um, what was I going to say? Having just a wall and then building on the inside, for some reason I'm not envisioning how I would go about doing that. So yeah, I'm going to make a platform. Now I do think the, the level that I'm going to flatten out on the top there is still gonna be endstone, so that way it'll at least give some color diversity and I can make pathways through it, kind of like how I have this uh, endstone texture going through where I have that path a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, I think that is gonna have to wait for the next episode, or I'll probably work on this uh, between episodes, some of the grindy stuff like filling out this top platform and, and texturing this wall a little bit. And of course, I'll, I'll add some variations and make it more interesting than just this flat uh, wall as it is now. But yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. I'm running out of time before I need to upload it. It's currently uh, almost 9 p.m. and I want to upload this uh, scheduled before I go to bed so that it can come out in the morning. But thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please um, continue watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what I should do in the world. Um, I will definitely take them all to heart, and uh, chances are whatever you suggest at this point will make it into the world because there is uh, just statistically very few people watching at this point at the beginning. So let me know, and have a good day, and I will see you guys on it with another episode in two days. Bye-bye.